In this video, you're going to be using SketchUp to create some letters <clears throat> that will be used in the library. So when you first open up SketchUp, you can open up any of the templates. And then you got to make sure that you go to View, Tool Palettes, and Large Tool Sets so that the Large Tool Group opens. Then down here below, you will see a 3D text. You're going to click on it. You're going to type in WHS. <clears throat> Where it says fonts, you can click, you can choose any of the different kinds of fonts. I'm going to uh, choose the Transformer Solid here. And I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit Place. And then I'm just going to click. Now, the size of it doesn't make a difference because I'm going to resize it when I put it on the uh, uh, 3D printer. But then from here, what I would like you to do is take that black arrow, click on it, right click, Edit Component. So once it's uh, able to be edited here, and we kind of look at it a little bit, what I would need to happen is, and it depends on the font that you choose, but I really need the letters to connect with a thin line at the bottom. So I'm going to take the pencil tool, go right up to the edge here, create a straight line, take the push-pull tool, push and drag, and pull to so that they can connect like that. Now once they connect, you can take the eraser tool, of course, and you can erase these lines, these lines, and you can even get underneath this, erase this bottom line right here, and we're looking pretty good so far. So we want to continue to do that all the way across. Um, <clears throat> now you can continue just like straight here, that would be fine too. Um, the thickness like here, I can go from here to there and then from here down so I know I have the same amount of thickness. Push pull tool, click pull, touch the edge, take the eraser tool, delete, delete, delete this line, I don't need any more. And then at the bottom you can see the other one that's still there. The eraser tool, just get rid of that one. All right, um, so continue that across for all of the pieces so that they all connect. If you have any strange lettering, like this piece here, is a little corner piece that just touches this side. If you want to make it a little thicker, which I think you should, take the push-pull tool, pull on this, make it a little bit thicker, and then we can erase this line in between. We could probably do the same thing at the bottom of this. There we go. And so now it's a little thicker, it'll, be, it'll uh, be easier to print out, of course. And I'll do one more just for this edge. So this is going to come all the way to here, and then from here down. And then I'll take the push-pull, click, pull, drag, just like that. Now you'll notice that there's a little bit of an angle here, so I'd have to erase that, erase that, erase this piece. Now if this all happens to you, or it kind of gets a little crazy on you, um, we can adjust the letter first. So what might happen is, you know, you take the black arrow, you click on this piece, take the move tool, and let's just slide this whole piece over so that it's straight. All right, having it straight is going to be a lot easier for us in terms of connecting this piece to it. So it really depends on yours. Come around and you can kind of ask me, and we'll we'll see if we can you know fix stuff up right then and there. All right, I didn't put that at a perfect uh, angle, and that's why it's not working out perfectly. Um, but we will connect all those pieces. And then, at the bottom of this entire thing, what I would like to try to do is create a box. And then on this box, take the push-pull, pull it out a little bit, pull it, um, almost make like a platform for it. So I'm gonna do the same thing from the bottom piece. Take the uh, pencil, go across. So now this becomes one that you can pull out this way, you can pull out to the top, you can obviously pull out to the sides in both directions. So what I would like to try to do is pull this out, so it's a little bit longer, it's going to be a platform that the entire thing can rest on. See that at the bottom there? That's what I want, as well as your connections. I would connect it at the bottom like I did on these two. If you feel you need to, you could also, of course, connect it from the top in some way if you really needed to. Um, and because this base is on it, you really, you know, the connection is not super necessary, but just in case, try to connect it. I'll help you uh, as much as possible. So I need one that says WHS. I need one that says uh, library. Same kind of thing. All right, and then connect those, put the little base at the bottom. Uh, if you want to do one that says computer lab, that would be great too. And then of course, save those files. And once you're done saving them, you can go to file. Um, actually just save, I'll, I'll export them from my, from my end. All right, that's all. Thank you very much, bye.